uh, emotional day and uh, well, it's been a tough season all round. Yeah, no, it has. And obviously today's never was never going to be a nice day in terms of how it's finished to now. But um, yeah, look, at the end of the day, we didn't lose the season on just today. Um, we've lost it across across the um, across the season. Um, the league doesn't lie. But when you're trying to compete with with the teams that are in and around us at the minute, it was always going to get harder and harder every season, um, especially when you haven't you haven't had the investment to be able to keep up with those teams. So um, look, we are where we are now. Um, it will hurt, um, especially for someone like myself who's been here for so long. Um, but yeah, it's just a case of yeah, we've got to reset, rebuild, and go again. I'm sorry, I've done it again. Yeah. <laughs> I oh, just take it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, it's my fault. I was fine. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I've, uh, I've no, kind of done this to you. Um, oh, gosh. Over the next few weeks, so you've got some personal uh, elements. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's going to set you off more than <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, of course. Obviously, it's probably time to start thinking about her, if I'm honest. Um, luckily, I've only just had to carry, it, carry her. So, um, but yeah, look, that is personally right now, that is what my focus on um, mm. family. <laughs> And obviously bringing this one into the world and hoping that she's healthy. We've spoken to you so many times and we, we support you all every step of the way. You know that. What I love about Reading Football Club as a whole, though, never say die attitude with men's game, the women's game. And you saw that, didn't you, throughout the whole season, especially over the last few weeks, I'm sure. Yeah, I think I think that's something we've had ever since we stepped up into the women's game and ever, ever since we've been in this league. Um, like I said, we've never had the biggest squad. We've never had the best players. <coughs> um, but we obviously stepped into the league at the start, finished fourth, finished fifth. And every time you go into every season, it gets harder and harder. Um, so, yeah, look, we, I think we've we've always shown that we, are, we have that fight. And I think every manager you speak to would always say that Reading was always one of their toughest games of the season so um, yeah look it's 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 definitely we still have that attitude that um, I've got a staff group that are magnificent that that fight every day and go above and beyond to make sure that the players have everything that they need um, but for us now it's just yeah we need to obviously this will hurt for some time um, but we need to make sure now that we um, rest, recover and um, we rebuild. Have you thought about your future at all? Or is it not the time for that at uh, all? But dare I ask, I'm sure a few people may have asked no, you that today. Yeah, no. Um, my thought process is I've always been fully in. If I'm into something, I'm fully into it. Um, and I have done that to, right up to this day. Now my focus changes a little bit to personal side of my life um to to have the baby and stuff um but right now my my plans are to to push this club in the right direction um as much as i can hopefully the the, the club will be there to support that and and make sure that we can do that going forward a decent performances today for sure i think grace maloney with a, a couple of fantastic saves and uh, moments of genius there as well d rose back into the lineup what was the thought process in terms of the the 30 minute mark she was only allowed to play 30 minutes <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, but look, look you can see what she gives for 30 minutes yeah. and we just said look if we can defend hard and we can maybe have one or two moments that we could capitalise on and um, I think like the frustration for us at half time is we probably should have gone in one or with um, Justine's effort um, and also look and then obviously we give them a second goal which is really really disappointing because you, you'd take going in at half time 1-0 or one all because um, it gives you got you got half a chance to get back into the game. So I think I think we gave ourselves a good account of ourselves today. Um, obviously, we started to chase the game a little bit to see what we could do. Um, but yeah, look, this game was always going to be a mountain to climb for us compared to the other team, who the other teams had. So, um, but the season's been challenging um, for many different reasons. Um, but like I said, we, all we can do now is look forward. Kelly, thanks for your time today and over the last goodness knows how many weeks and months and all the best for the thank next you. few weeks as well thank you so much thank you yeah Kelly um, first of all Thanks, thank Kelly. you so much for speaking to us I know this must be really difficult but yeah when we spoke last week you said that it was probably about the time that you would start having those kind of hard and tough conversations with the club so I just wondered whether you have had them this week and no I've had nothing <laughs> within a week I've had no conversations with the club um, 
uh, again for different reasons um, but my obviously my focus was to, to get a team ready for today um, and the plan is to have those conversations next week with how we move forward and, and how we can rebuild yeah and do you really hope that the club are going to stay in the full-time model that you know you've worked so hard to sort of get to that stage yeah I hope so that's what I want to do and obviously we've got players and, and staff that are, are still with us uh, in full-time capacity so yeah, that's what I want to do. If we want to be a team that can compete and bounce straight back up in the championship, that's if anyone looks, that's that's the way the championship's going now. If you want to, if you want to be in that league and you want to comp- just compete, you've got to be in that. You've got to be in that setup. So that's the plans, and they're the plans that I've put forward. So fingers crossed that they, the club can support us doing that, and we can continue. Thanks, Kelly. Does it make it obviously tougher because it's been a, a hard season for the club on the men's and women's side? Does that, does that make it tougher all round for you guys as well? Um, yeah, a little bit. Obviously, it's been hard. We're all on the same same base, so that's hard for us in terms of obviously they're going through the kind of the same thing. It's it's just crazy that we've managed to bring it to the final day of the season somehow. Um, but yeah, look, it's not it's not nice when your men's team's been relegated and now your women's team and. And I just think now it's for not necessarily just for the club, but the owner and everybody that's directing the club forward is what's next for the club. Where do we want to go as a club? What's the vision? What's the, what's the way that we want to go? The women's side, the men's side, because no doubt they'll want to, the, the men will want to jump straight back up and, and we'll, I want to do exactly the same with the women's side. So, yeah, as a club as a whole, it's been a really tough season. And have you, do you know about any impact that the club being relegated um, from the Championship to League One? Does that have any impact on the women's as, side? As far as I'm aware, not right now. Um, like I said, I've had no conversations with the club to kind of know what direction that we're heading in. Um, obviously I've put my plans forward and, and budgets and stuff and it's just a, I've got a meeting hopefully this week um, that we can sit down and have those discussions to decide which way forward that we go with the club. Thanks. No. 